Good evening, Florida Sky Watchers. So here we have the next hurricane in the tropical Atlantic. Again, I'm doing this report mostly because I want to start producing content on other platforms and I don't want to go back and repost old content. I want to actually just move forward posting new content and um, and then maybe one day I'll set up a website. I already have the domain floridaskywatchers.com, but I want to one day um, we'll have more time. Anyway, I just want to show everybody that that what what's happening out here with this storm system because this storm is again we've got so much stuff happening here, and we can zoom in really well. And we can see all these linear features around the perimeter of this storm, right? That's cloud seeding. Those are aerosol trails from airplanes. This hurricane, and I'm pretty sure that this is probably already named a hurricane. Okay, keep in mind all those linear features. Those are airplanes that are causing that. And... So just for the sheer size and enormity of this, here is the southeastern United States. This system right now in the Atlantic is the size of the entire southeastern United States. Okay, I don't know what direction it's going. I pulled up the forecast here. Uh, apparently this is Kirk. And it is a hurricane already. Um, that was that is pretty obvious. And this system is a monster. It is massive. And again, now I don't know why this loop. This is why this loop is so short. My apologies. I probably should start this recording all over again. Okay, so now we're going to see the entire sequence here. That was only 12 frames, and that was my fault because I had previously adjusted the frames, and uh, but then I had actually switched the perspective. So here, here it is, probably the last 36 hours or so. Wow. And within that 36-hour period, you have this monster hurricane and you got you almost have two of them back to back look at this we're going to slow this down So we can get a front row seat of this. And I can guarantee you that you're not going to see this on the 5 o'clock news on mainstream media. You're going to get the cartoon graphics. You're going to get the 8-bit Super Mario uh, original Nintendo graphics. And you're not going to get any analysis on this system. And typically what I what I like to do is I like to just document this stuff. I don't really like to hyperanalyze these storms or even kind of insert my opinion or theories in regards to a lot of this stuff. I just kind of want to document it. And wow, this is one massive system. So, you know, here's the coast of Africa right here and I had queued up another view of this so we could see like a two-dimensional view let's make sure all that's right okay this is the next lab and here's the 2d view there's your 
you know, Sahara coast, African coast. And this perspective isn't really as good as the goes. You can see that the um, imagery is certainly not even close to the level. And I love this feature. You want to really get a close up view. And again, so you know, you have some of these are outflows, but I got to say, I mean, a lot of this. A lot of these linear features out here in the ocean, you know, are they UAVs, unmanned um, aerial vehicles, um, autonomous, uh, autonomous unmanned vehicles, whatever the acronym is. And this is so sensitive. I'll try and find your way here. Here you go. Man, this is monster. Look at that. Yeah, so that should probably be my. That could be my thumbnail right there. Anyway. Um, for whoever has been following my Facebook page for years, you'll see the recent posts and the restrictions that have been placed on the account. I'm not actually allowed to post any videos or pictures now for the next 29 days. Um, I had written a post and kind of elaborated about what is exactly is had happened and, um, but from here on out, we're going to be posting on uh, YouTube. And then once I get things figured out on Twitter, once I can do the long form videos and also the longer form posts, then I'll start actually posting over there as well. And hopefully try and build up um, a following similar to the one that I have on Facebook right now, which just hit 36,000. So thank you everybody who has been following the page all this time and all these years and also all the new followers appreciate the follow and I'll just keep this content coming while we head into this new climate crisis.